There's thousands of existing art groups in shelters and disability centers across the country, but a big problem was the rest of the world couldn't see this amazing artwork. So Art Lifting's goal is to be that bridge connecting talented artists with the rest of the community. Our artists are so used to people focusing on the negative in them. So saying, you don't have housing right now, or you're in a wheelchair. And we totally turn that around and say, wow, you are so talented. Look at you created this. I'm not uh, belong to the art uh, subject. Said it is the artist is the homeless. So it uh, crossed my heart. I, I want to see. Yeah, I just art maybe can change their life. We've already had five artists gain housing since we launched. We've had revenue in the six figures already. Uh, but the bigger thing is the confidence boost of changing that stereotype within saying, wow, everyone can contribute to society. And so not only does she uh, draw, but she volunteers to teach watercolor to her peers at the women's lunch place. I think that's awesome. Yeah, so tonight it's super exciting. We, Art Lifting is partnering with the Harvard Education Portal. The Ed Portal is the Alston Brighton neighborhood's gateway to Harvard's resources. So we provide programming both in direct services and in uh, open programs and events that in general connect Harvard and the neighborhood and try to sort of uh, be a benefit to the neighborhood. I think two days ago, I take a computer classes here. When I discovered those kind of the pictures, I can believe it, how the people who can make a home it's like a professional art. I don't know very well about that, but this is so beautiful. Tons of clients said to me, Liz, I'm incredibly lonely. And that really got to me emotionally. Uh, but it also didn't seem like rocket science. If I keep hearing this in one-on-one -on -one meetings, how cr could I create a safe space to bring individuals together to have the emotional support, but also the creative outlet? as you're painting or beading or sewing. Uh, I'm particularly inspired by people who may have been homeless and disabled and how they were able to pull up that inspiration and capture it on canvas. I think that is awesome. I like a painting too, and I would like one day somebody can look at my picture and I can put in some place like this where people who don't know professional can show his talent. We have a gallery, we hope to provide some exposure to the homeless and disabled artists that they represent. And what they do is really at the intersection of Harvard and the community, and that's where we want to be too. So, um, so we're really thrilled about having them in our space and celebrating the artwork that they curated.